Hi and hello, I am Athena Pondian here. Welcome to the Athena Pondian channel once again. So in this video, what I am going to say something about is, of course, I am talking about uh, going to talk about the biomedical engineering only. So in this video, especially, I am going to say something about for the freshers because still uh, today the some of the freshers are feeling struggled to find the job for the minimum amount of salary. Also, he can't able to find the job correctly. So what is the reason? So what are all the things you can able to uh, uh, analyze by yourself before searching the job? What are all the things required you need to note about by yourself before searching the job? All the things, all the points we are going to discuss now. So come let me start the video. So freshers required points for seeking the job actually. So what is the thing you need to do during the um, uh, studies itself? There is four years of studies, four years of engineering study or it may be a three years of a bachelor's degree in a, a biomedical instrumentation or whatever it may be. During the studies itself, you should clear about the market because even though the particular market studies and all not included in your syllabus, but you should have a capability, you should have some of the uh, self-interest to know about all this happen in the market actually. Uh, one thing is, if you want to search the job, many of them did the same mistake is that once they completed the final year degree, then straight away he go to Google and just search job openings for biomedical engineering. So this is the not way to search the job actually. So first of all, uh, the biomedical is an ocean, of course you are all well known about it. Biomedical is an ocean in having a variety of domains in, 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 in accordance with that. So first thing what you need to know is, what is biomedical engineering scopes and all? What are all the things there? What is the jobs available? What are all the different job scopes available for the biomedical engineering in the market? You should be know about it. Of course, we are all knowing in the, in the so many videos we have already discussed about what are all the job scopes are there. Sales biomedical engineer there, service biomedical engineer there, application there, biomedical engineering hospital there, like that. 9 to 10 job scopes are there to search the job. So these are all the things during the final year itself you should know about it. That's the first point I am saying. So these particular job scopes and all. First thing you need your, you need to choose your scopes. Because according to the nine, 10 different scopes, each and every job scopes of biomedical is entirely different. The description of the job, the responsibilities of the job is entirely different for each and every role, every job scopes for biomedical. So you should know about all the things first of all. What is the sales scope? What is the roles and responsibilities for the sales? What are the duties we are able to acquire? And what are all the things required for that particular uh, um, sales approach? All the things, like that the service, like that the application, all these kind of things you should be known during the studies itself. And then once you know about all these job scopes and responsibilities and the duties, then you decided, then you ask the question to yourself, which is good for you? Which is a comfortable area for you? Which is can able to uh, search? For example, for the sales, you require some of the convincing power. You should have some of the um, communication. You should have some of the updated knowledge and nothing. You should have some of the anatomical knowledge because if you want to uh, sell a product to the doctor, we are not approach the uh, particular uh, doctor with the way of electronics. With the way of anatomically only we can able to approach the doctor, how the particular machine is operated. Anatomically we can able to approach, not, for the not through the electronics we can't able to approach because the doctor doesn't know what is electronics is. So like that, the sales persons and then the service person. Suppose for example, if you are strong in electronics, you have a, a strong uh, a knowledge about the troubleshooting of many equipments. The description is entirely different. So and then an application, you have uh, the strong communication. You have uh, uh, the, the group discussion capability. So you have an updated knowledge about each and every equipment. So all these kind of, so each and every job scopes accordingly, you have a different roles and responsibilities. That is, that's what I'm saying. Each and every job scope have different descriptions, job descriptions are there. So all these kind of job descriptions, you should be know about it. Once you know about all these kind of job descriptions and then decided which is comfortable for you, because you know yourself very better than that of the other persons. So you can able to ask the questions to yourself, which is suits for you, which is very comfortable for me to get into the market. Decided that during the final year itself, during the studies itself, you will decide it. And then, for example, if you are choosing a service biomedical engineer, or example, for example, you are choosing an application biomedical engineer, then keep on working on it. 
you know the roles and responsibilities of the application engineer clearly which are all the things need which are all the things much more we need to improve on acquiring the uh, application engineer application specialist to become actually application specialist what are all the things required so all these kind of things you can able to mold by yourself during the last years once you are not able to decide at these kind of job scopes and once you are not able to know about these kind of job roles and responsibilities no then simply you go and search the job and all then it is nothing that is meaningless actually you know about the roles and responsibilities clearly most importantly just name itself no i want to become a sales by medical engineer i want to become a service by medical engineer not like that you should be clear idea about what is sales you should be clear about who are all the uh, persons coming under the sales who are all their rob- job responsibilities what are the targets they need to achieve how uh, how far the particular target can able to uh, given to the freshers how we can able to attain the target if in case we are not attaining the target what happen whether you have a capability to attain the target or not so all these things all these kind of descriptions you should be know about during the studies and then during the last 3 uh, uh, months uh, for during the last 3 months of your study decided yourself this is my role this is the job scope i want because i am having the capability to go in this particular job and then start searching the job don't go simply i i need a job whatever the job it may be i want to do that for example you have a confident on, you have a strong knowledge on the electronics if in case the sales job is there waiting for you don't go because you are decided that you are well capable for the service then how far you can able to approach the doctor because you are strong in electronics man you are strong in electronics you can able to troubleshooting the particular uh, uh, devices and everything so why not you are wasting your capability to selling the machine of course if in case you are appointed as a sales for example if the service man is required don't go for the service job because no you are not strong about electronics you are then why you are go for the job i am asking so that is the thing so the most important mistake every fresher did is they not able to plan themselves you must know about the job scopes clearly through the seniors or through the any expertise or through the faculty members you should know about all the job scopes first of all and you you should have uh, an analyze yourself by all the descriptions of the jobs and duties and roles and responsibilities and then ask the question to yourself whether which is comfortable for you which is uh, which is the which are all the things required so which are all the things i need to mold i need to mold myself to acquire this particular job scopes all these things you can able to made a homework made a homework and then once you are get a confident once you get a confident for example if you are if you are make a made a homework on about sales by medical engineer you know everything about sales by medical engineer instead of uh, the only difference is you have don't have any practical knowledge but all the things what happen for the sales by medical engineer you know about it because you are you are uh, made a homework on that particular sales by medical engineer for the past 3 months then for example if you are attended any interview you are going to attend any interview for the sales by medical engineer whatever the questions he may be ask you can able to understand first of all you can clearly understand because you are work on the particular sales by medical engineer homework you made so you know about the um, do's and don'ts so that kind of expectations there we are expecting from the freshers so that is what the thing is the most important thing as a fresher you need to do is don't simply say i am not getting a job i am not getting a job once you have made a homework properly once you have made this point of homework properly then damn sure you should get a place you should get a placement at least in the tier 2 company or tier 3 companies so that's all my a um, small uh, um, information is that so freshers especially if you want to search job you need to do some homework before searching the job that kind of that kind of homework is not at all much uh, bigger uh, work so small amount of uh, knowledge you need to spend to know about all these things and then decide it yourself and search the job accordingly don't go for the job for the money don't go for the job for your um um guiltiness and everything he is he is getting job i am not really getting job so that is why i am going for the any kind of job i can able to go don't do that don't leave your passion for anybody wait for some time still your job scope is available wait for some time and go for it so that is what my small request is so thanks a lot for this video for listening this video i hope this may give some of the uh, small clarification clarity about how we can able to search the job and all thank you very much